Hi. Right now, if you are having thoughts of unaliving yourself, I want to tell you, please don't do it. Right now, you may be going through something so tragic, so horrific, so humiliating, so destructive, that you think that there's nothing left for you in this world. I want to tell you that there is. Right now, you're looking for help, but you can't find it. Right now, you feel like every single door that's been closed has been slammed in your face and you can't find a way out. Right now, you may be at your absolute edge, praying to God, asking for a sign, asking for something to give you a reason to keep on going. And I want to tell you that you are worth it to be here and you are the reason you are the reason to keep going. That no matter what situation, no matter what circumstance, you are worthy of living an amazing life no matter what anyone else says, no matter what anyone else has done, no matter what situation you have gone through. Please don't take your life away from us. Right now, you're reaching out. I know you are hurt. And I know you are broken and I feel you right now I am sending you a virtual hug right now I am sending you love and I want to tell you that help is on the way you want to know how I know because I was right where you are I was in an abusive situation I was in a toxic loop a circumstance that I didn't think I could get out of and I found a way out what I want you to do, what I want you to do is put down whatever it is that you have in your hand, whether it be alcohol, a weapon, whatever it is that you are hurting yourself with. I want you to put it down. And I want you to stop and I want you to sit down on your bed and put you in a position where you can't run away, where you can't hide. Just sit there alone in your room and I want you to think about some things. I want you to think about the important things. I want you to think about the people who you've never met yet, who can't wait to meet you because inside of you that you haven't, might not yet have demonstrated all of the amazing things that you have brought to this world because you have a purpose here. You might not have found it yet, but you do because you're here. There's a reason why you are here. There's a reason for everything. Right now may be the most difficult day of your entire life. You can't catch your breath. You can't breathe. You may feel like everything is spinning around in circles and it's all closing in on you. I need you to breathe. I need you to take a deep breath. and exhale. Breathe in the positivity and exhale the negativity. You have possibly been diagnosed with something or you may have lost something. Everything that you have lost will find its way back to you that you didn't lose everything forever. It's just misplaced. You may be diagnosed with something that you feel is incurable or told you're inoperable, but God has the final say. God has the final say in everything. That right now, you may be stressed out, you may be scared, but I wanna let you know that there's spiritual help that is on the way. You may be alone, you may be isolated, you may feel like no one understands you. People are laughing at you, you feel humiliated because private information was sent out and there are people judging you but I want to tell you something that you're worth it and you're brave and right now I need you to dig deep inside of yourself and find that strength because there is a light there is a faith inside of you that can help you to continue going I've been where you are right now and it is not easy and I feel you I feel for you your life is worth it to all of us that have not met you yet. And you're worth a life that's full and full of joy and happiness 
And right now you may be miserable and struggling and I see it, I understand it, and you're not alone. You may feel like you're alone, but you haven't talked to the people yet because we're waiting to meet you. We're waiting to talk to you. I wanna reach out my hand to you and tell you, I wanna tell you to please hold on. Grab my hand and hold on. Breathe with me. Let me help you find that strength. But nothing that is put out there, no, no negative words can prosper against you because God is with you. And we will survive this together. I'm sorry for what you've gone through and what you're going through because it's not right, it's not fair, it's unjust. And it's fucking scary, I know. And it hurts, deep down it hurts and you feel like this pain is never gonna go away and it's like your heart has been ripped out of your chest, you've been kicked in the stomach, your face has been smashed, your head is exploding. The feelings, the tears, the pulsating feeling of anger and rage inside of you, but it's not worth it to retaliate. It's not worth it to fight them because you're, you're not going to win. We're not going to win fighting that war. But you know what we're going to win? We're going to win these tiny battles. We're going to fight through these feelings because what they want, they're not going to get. They're not going to silence us from telling our truth. They're not going to silence us. They're not going to paint us in a corner because we're going to fight back. But you know how we're going to fight back? We're going to survive it. We cannot get well in the place that we got sick in. If that means that we have to let go of everything, our material things, because you cannot attach a U-Haul to a hearse. Everything that if you've got things here, we're going to have to start over again. We're going to make a plan. We're going to escape from this situation in a positive and meaningful way. And that's not by unaliving ourselves or taking our life away from this world because God has us here for a reason. We are the light workers and we're going to shine the light on other people because by you surviving this, and it's not going to be easy. I know it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. We're gonna be stronger in the end. We are gonna face our anxiety. We're gonna face our fear and we're gonna look at it in the face and say, you can't fuck with us anymore. Right here at this moment, I wanna comfort you and let you know that you're gonna make it. You deserve to make it. No matter what happens, even if you've fucked up, even if you've made the biggest mistakes, guess what? Those mistakes are not our judge, jury, and executioner in this world, it's God. So right now, I want to reach my hand out to you, and I want to shine my light into your world. In the darkest of spaces right now, in your fear, I want you to know that it's false evidence appearing real. That you are worth it, and we're going to make through this together. We're going to get through this together. So what I need you to do, I need you to put down that weapon of choice. And I need you to close your eyes and breathe. And I need you to believe. And I need you to hear my voice and know that you are worth it to stay. And no matter what it is, one day, one week, one month, one year, however long it takes, you're going to get through it. And no matter what it is that we've lost, we're going to overcome. That we're going to get tenfold of what, what has been taken away from us. That I need you to be here. I need you to not go away. I need you to fight through this. I need you. I need you. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't unalive yourself. Please don't take your life away from me, from us, from this world, because we need you. So right now, while you're breathing, while you're sitting there, I want you to think of all the amazing things. Think of amazing things that make you laugh and smile make you happy you might not see them yet but I need you to dig real deep and think about them I need you to think about the things that you have not yet been able to do that one day you are going to do 
I need you to fill your heart with some hope right now. Let me help you. If you are thinking of taking your life right now, I want you to know how amazing your life is and will be and can be. You may have had a lot of things that have stood in your way, a lot of obstacles, but this is how winners are born because you're gonna fight through it. You're gonna be the champion and you're gonna look back and be like, oh my gosh, did I do that? When they say unaliving yourself is a permanent solution, it's not a solution, it's a choice. And right now I want you to choose to live and alive yourself because there's so many things out there that you deserve to have. You may be facing a consequence for something. You may be facing something, but time will get you through it in order to survive the storm you have to go through the storm and you will make it on the other side please if you hear my voice right now and you're looking for ASMR you're looking for some kind of positive encouraging words to help you through the most difficult situation of your life I want to tell you that I've been where you are and I don't want you to leave stay here stay here because there are reasons why you're supposed to be here there are books you're supposed to write, there's music that you're supposed to play. Someone's making fun of your look, someone's making fun of you, someone's humiliated you. There's outlets out there, there's ways to remind yourself because there's only one you. God made you special, God made you here for a reason. And you are beautiful, and you are loved. No matter what any of them say because people project and there are mean, awful, evil people out there who project, who triangulate, who want to hurt you. And this is where you got to dive deep inside of yourself and know that they're only doing that because there's something special about you. They want to take away your shine. They want to take away the beautiful part of you because they don't see the beautiful part of themselves. And they're targeting you. You're not crazy. I believe you. And I'm sorry for your pain. You don't deserve to be treated like that. You don't deserve to lose your life over the negative opinions of others. Right now, if you are choosing to unalive yourself because you feel that the world is too much to carry on. I am begging you to please hold on. I am begging you please hold on because tomorrow is going to be a better day. Just make it through the night. One minute. One hour. Just keep holding on. Because tomorrow is going to be brighter. Tomorrow is going to be better. And the tomorrow after that... Please don't drink that alcohol. Please don't do something that we don't want you to do. We don't want you to take your life from us. And you may feel like, fuck all. My life isn't worth living, but it is. Because I got to feel it. I got to taste it. I got to touch it. The sound of freedom. The feeling of freedom. The feeling of getting over addictions getting well, going back to the gym, working out, eating good foods, taking care of yourself. You may feel like you let, your, let go of yourself for too long and that you're unlovable. That's not true. That's just the enemy speaking and you're not the enemy. So right now I'm sitting here with you. I'm asking you, please stay with me. Stay with me. You may not be able to sleep. You may be going through all of these things, but I want you to breathe with me. Stay with me. Don't go. Tomorrow's going to be a new day. We're going to pick up those pieces, and we're going to put them back together again, and we're going to show the world how resilient we are. They may have made us crack, but we didn't break. We may not have a whole lot of money, we may not have a lot of resources, but we're going to find them. We are not better off unalive. 
and the people who are saying that are wrong. And consider the source. Consider who those people are. Who are they anyway? This is the time we detach from those people and not let them, not let them not let them hurt us anymore. Please know that I love you. I love you so much. I may not even met you yet. You're amazing and you're wonderful. You wanna know why? Because God put you here and you have a purpose. And when you bounce back from this, you have a story to share, but there are new friends that you're gonna meet. There are gonna be new people. There's gonna be a new job. There's gonna be a new life for you about change. Please don't unalive yourself. I love you. You're not alone. Please reach out to me. Send me an email. Just talk to me. We will get through this together. I love you. We've got this. Don't go. Please don't go. I love you. You are loved. Stay. Please stay. And we will find a way.